Hello Topas, today we will be seeing gastroenterology mnemonics, the most important and most confusing things. Those are Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, IBS and regarding Schilling's test also. In the end of this video, you will be having an MCQ, you just comment the answer below if you know. So first, it is Crohn's disease. So just think that Crohn's is a person going to celebrate the Christmas. And the mnemonics are C for cobblestone appearance, H high temperature and hose pipe appearance, R reduced lumen and rose thorn appearance, I intestinal fistula, S for skip lesions, T it is transmural, it, is, it will involve all the layers of the intestine, it won't be superficial. And it will affect the terminal ileum. M for malabsorption will be there because of Crohn's disease. A. Abdominal pain will be there and anti-saccharomyces cerevisiae antibody will be positive in case of Crohn's disease. And for S there will be submucous fibrosis. As I had told, if it is involving all the layers of intestine, surely it will lead to submucous fibrosis. You can remember like that. So, for Crohn's disease, it is Christmas. So, next. Next comes ulcerative colitis. So, here the mnemonics is ulcers hyphen P. So, for you, the ulcers will be superficial and mucosal. So, there is a major difference between Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Like Crohn's disease will be involving everything very deeply and in case of ulcerative colitis, everything will be very superficial. And L for large intestine, it will affect. Already we had seen that Crohn's disease will affect the terminal ileum. Here it will affect the large intestine and mainly rectum and sigmoid colon. And C, it will be continuous, it may lead to colorectal carcinoma and we can see crypt abscess in case of ulcerative colitis. And for E, it extends proximally. R, it will lead to bloody diarrhea that is red diarrhea. Then for S, ulcerative colitis is always associated with sclerosing cholangitis and you can remember Smoking will be reducing the risk of developing ulcerative colitis and sclerosing cholangitis. This is one of the most important MCQ. Then P, it is indicating pseudo polyps. So, in case of ulcerative colitis, it is ulcers P and in case of Crohn's disease, it is Christmas. Then comes mnemonics regarding the abnormal Schilling's test. It is bicap and B is for bacterial overgrowth syndrome. Then I for ileal dysfunction. C for chronic pancreatitis. A for achlorhydria. P for pernicious anemia. So, try to remember for abnormal Schilling's test, the mnemonic is by cap. Then comes irritable bowel syndrome. Let's see the red flag signs of IBS. Fana with best friend. F is for fever. A for abnormal blood study. N for nocturnal pain, then again A for abnormal physical finding, again A for anemia and age more than 60 years, W is for weight loss, B for blood in stools, then F for family history of IBD or malignancy. So, you can remember the red flag signs of IBS as Fana with best friend. 
So today's MCQ, most common CNS manifestation of Whipple's disease is cerebellar ataxia, supranuclear ophthalmoplegia, seizures and dementia. Kindly comment your answer below. Thank you so much.